It is just so sharp. Hey guys and welcome to Aussie Reviews. Today I'm checking out the Chris Reeve Large and Cozy Folding Knife. Now guys, uh, before I jump right into it, I wanted to show you obviously the uh, unboxing because Chris Reeve is a very premium brand of knife. Now, um, you know, he has the motto there, do the damn job right or don't do it at all. And he also says that he wants to make the finest product available. Now, you know, that's some pretty big claims, but it's backed up with numerous awards from the year 2000, uh, you know, to the present date. Um, numerous awards Chris Reeve has received for uh, his knife making abilities and just the quality of the knife in general. So that's why I thought I'd unbox it for you so you can just see how this is presented. It certainly isn't, you know, like just your granddad's old $20 pocket knife. This thing is really high end. So you get a folder here and uh, it talks about uh, the knife, also gives you uh, information on the material used and the style of blade and then also talks about all the different awards that they've received over the years. The knife itself is just wrapped up in a uh, cloth. So I'll just unravel that. And we've also got some Loctite and just some uh, little um, Allen wrenches here so you can actually uh, take the knife apart you know, for cleaning and maintenance in the future. So the knife is just a beautiful looking knife and um, honestly guys, when I put in my order for this, um, you know, I couldn't wait to actually get one. You know, um, just such a nice looking knife and something to re be really proud of in my own view anyway. Now, as I say, it comes in uh, various different types and also with engraving. So you can get, um, you know, uh, micarta basically wood inlays on it as well. Um, you know, it looks fairly uh, flash. And you can also have it in a Tanto and Insingo um, blade so this is the drop point uh, blade as you can see here now uh, the blade is uh, stone washed as well so I just really like the finish on it it's just really appealing to me um, it's made from s35 VN steel so that's a premium grade steel so for edge retention 7 out of 10 uh, corrosion resistance 7 out of 10 ease of sharpening 5 out of 10 so I really think they've just um, hit the nice balance here between ease of sharpening and also uh, the edge retention because usually if you find like really premium um, steel blades you know like that S110V that was on the Spyderco Paramilitary 2 that I reviewed you know it's um, 10 out of 10 for edge retention but ease of sharpening is like 1 out of 10 so you know you always sacrifice um, there so I think this uh, blade here with the S35 VN steel is just a really good balance where it just gives you the best of both worlds. Now we've got the jimping on top here so I've got fairly large hands so when I hold it here I can get a nice firm grip and just uh, slice with it. Um, just feels really nice in the hand. I actually really like it. Now there's ambidextrous uh, thumb studs blue there so um, the length of the blade here is 3.6 inches or 91 millimeters. So the thickness is 0.14 of an inch or 3.55 millimeters. Now the handle is uh, available left to right handed. So as you can see I've got the right hand here and I've got the um, uh, pocket clip on the side there. It's a titanium um, handle here so obviously you know it gets pretty expensive once you start getting into knives with titanium handles. We've got the uh, lanyard at the back there, so you can easily take that off if you don't like it, but I do find when it sits in the pocket, it's nice to be able to grab that, you know, just to pull the knife out. Now the um, uh, length of the handle is 4.8 inches or 122 millimeters. Now it is a tip up uh, carry as you can see, so you really don't get uh, any choice of that. So guys, what I mean by that is obviously when it sits in your pocket, the tip is up, it's as simple as that. Overall, we got 8.4 inches or uh, 213 millimeters in length. It uh, weighs 4.96 ounces or 140 grams. So I actually don't find it bad the weight. Um, you know, it certainly doesn't weigh down your pocket by any means. Now the inner rule lock here has a ceramic ball running between it and the tang of the blade. Now this prevents the wear and also ensures um, accurate lockup for the life of the blade. So it's going to be pretty hard 
to see here. You, you can't really see down there. Even if I was to get a light out, guys, it's going to be pretty hard. But uh, when I've pulled this apart, you can clearly see that uh, that ceramic ball is there. Now, uh, the tolerance of this knife is just insane. So uh, Chris Reeve um, talks about being uh, within a tenth of a thou of an inch. Okay, so, you know, a thou of an inch is uh, small enough as it is, but a tenth of that again. So, you know, the tolerances on it are extremely uh, tight. And you can really feel it too. Like, just when you bring it out and, you know, open it, it's just so smooth. It's like glass. Yeah, really nice. And you really know that you're, you're handling a very high-end knife when you um, use it. So um, what I want to do here, guys, is let's just jump straight to a clip. I want to show you what it looks like in the pocket and uh, just bringing it out. So as you can see, you know, it does sit very nicely in the pocket. And, you know, you can either tuck that uh, lanyard uh, deeper into your pocket or, you know, have it extending so that you can easily pull the knife out of your pocket. Now, you know, it just sits nice, it opens nice, it feels nice. I really don't have any complaints, um, you know, with this knife. Okay, so is the knife sharp? Now, I love doing this test because really, it does test if the knife uh, blade you know, has its edge because if it doesn't, it just won't cut through the paper. But as you can see here, <laughs> it is just so sharp. This thing is ridiculously sharp. The edge on this, um, honestly guys, I haven't seen many blades that are this sharp straight out of the factory. Let's go ahead and cut up some rope. So yeah, it glides through that pretty easily. Same story if you're cutting some hose. Just cuts through that so nicely. And guys, as I always do, you know, because you've got uh, different situations where you might be out in the bush and you want to start a fire, I mean, especially if you're camping, you know, that's one of the things that everyone loves doing is uh, starting a fire. So, you know, this, like other knives, you can just simply get that small bits of tinder cut off. So if I don't keep flicking them out of the range of the camera here. As you can see, obviously it does the job as expected. So as for price guys, these are not cheap, 650 Australian dollars. So um, look, we've got a pretty poor conversion rate at the moment. And um, yeah, you certainly pay through the nose for a lot of items from the US. So in saying that though, $650 was cheaper to pay that here uh, through cutting edge knives rather than buy direct. If I was to buy direct from the States, it was gonna cost another $150 when you um, do the conversion and add shipping. So yeah, it was definitely a saving by buying locally here. The only problem that I found was with cutting edge knives, like, um, you know, they say in stock, but it's not. It's actually in stock with their supplier in the US and you've got to wait a couple of weeks before it gets here. So that was a little bit disappointing, um, but at the end of the day, am I happy? Yeah, I am. I saved money and, um, you know, I've just got an absolute high-end knife that I'm going to have for many years to come. Anyhow, guys, we'll leave the review at that. I hope you enjoyed watching it. So till next time, we'll catch you then.